Now, let's move on. UAC is close to announcing a deal with foreign investors in its logistic business, MDS Logistics. That's according to CEO Larry Etta. And this is as the diversified conglomerate moves ahead with its strategy to partner with new investors at its subsidiaries. Earlier, I spoke with Larry Etta for more on the company's growth drivers in 2012 after I reported a 108% rise in full-year profit after tax. Take a look. I think first quarter, the fourth quarter that you're talking about is usually our strongest quarter. Of course, you know, for a consumer package business such as ours, there's also a lot of strong traction in some of our food businesses in that quarter. But beyond that, we also must recognize that certain activities happened in the previous year, which was 2011, where we needed to take a significant write down in our impairment uh, in our restaurant business and also in our logistics business which of course wouldn't show up in this other year. So you could see those kind of gains as it relates to expenses. We're pretty solid all around in terms of the different business lines. But for me, those that stand out really are the logistic business where we saw um, PBT up 131%. And of course, the restaurant business where we're seeing the business moving very close to break even after the huge losses we saw the year before. Can you just talk to us about the areas where you're like, we're likely to see the biggest growth in 2013? I think heading into 2013 so far, we've seen an encouraging start, uh, a strong start in uh, most of our businesses, like you spoke about in the logistics business, in our paint category, in our restaurant business, in grand cereal. So we're fairly very confident that we'll have a good uh, 2013. Uh, I'd just like to put also context of the 2012 results. Those are hard-fought numbers, in, given the background of difficult economic uh, trading environment that we had. Yeah, absolutely. Quite difficult. And we'll get to that a little later, particularly with respect to the insecurity in the north. But stay with your logistic business. There is a note about um, the plans to introduce a strategic equity investor. And I want to hear more about what you're hoping to achieve with that. I think it's in line with a broad strategy. And our strategy is actually to say that if we want to be leaders in each of the categories that we play of necessity, we need to have strategic investors in those space. We did that in the foods business when we had you know, the collaboration with Tiger in USC Foods. And we've seen significant improvement in that business as we have reported in 2012. We believe too that the logistics space in this country has capacity to grow at multiples of the growth rate of the GDP. But then new systems, new processes, uh, new uh, knowledge needs to be brought into that business. We've succeeded so far with native intelligence. Going forward, I think we need to recognize that we need some level of knowledge into that business. And we are looking for that investor who has a skin in the game, who has warehouse management systems, who have track and trace systems, who have systems and processes that would allow for better efficiencies and better locking between our clients and ourselves and also be part of that growth that we see into the future. What, what can you tell us about that investor? Clearly you haven't made a choice yet, but how quick soon can we anticipate an announcement and will this likely be a foreign partner? I'd like to say that we are a bride at the and I think the groom is walking towards us. So very shortly this marriage will be conducted. Um, whether it will be a local investor, no. Uh, it's got to be an investor who has that knowledge, and I don't think they exist. We are number one, so there wouldn't be so much for us to be looking for locally. But uh, likely an international investor of clout who understands uh, Africa, but who also understands the global international world of logistics. If we talk about your, your cereals business, that is the grand cereals rather, the annual feeds, um, cereal meal and edible oil business, um, you of course have plans to expand that. And I want to hear more about any impact, if any, any impact the uh, insecurity we are seeing in the north is having on that business in particular and the expansion plans going forward. Yeah, that business, for instance, we grew volume by close to 21%, but we also had margin compression. Part of that margin compression had to do with the fact that you had significant volatility in price of uh, grains. And that would be related to the insecurity in the northern part of the country. Because where there's uh, that level of insecurity that we are seeing, people are not farming. So there's actually of soft commodities like sorghum, like soya bean, 
like maize across those uh, places. And so we are seeing significantly rising input costs in that business. And we see margin compression. So those are the headwinds that we face. So uh, our distribution costs have significantly increased. And that's why uh, we have said that we looking at manufacturing configuration that covers the rest of the country. We've just put in a new plant in the southeast of the country and is already streaming. So that would help us to mitigate some of the risk and also the associated cost of operating just in the northern part of the country. What are your thoughts on the Nigerian consumer? Of course, the, the consumer has been under some pressure, especially after 2012 with the fuel price hikes, the impact disposable income. But how, are you, how do you see things developing this year? Well, I, I, I don't see significant improvement. I haven't noticed it yet. I think when I look at certain indices, like unemployment, I mean, it's trending uh, worse than it was before. Um, I think the good news may be of a uh, slight drop in inflation. If that is sustained, then chances are that buying power will be uh, better protected. But I like to think that uh, we're seeing growth in terms of GDP, but Nigerians can eat growth. They need to be a lot more inclusive form of growth that lifts the economy and hopefully impacts on the power and the consumer. All right. Well, again, congratulations on a pretty strong set of results. But can you give any forward guidance to the market with respect to what we can anticipate in 2013? In terms of growth? I think our growth in terms of bottom line and top line will be in double digits. Uh, have that momentum. We are putting significant assets on ground. So the scale being built in the business, we're also building distribution, so investing in innovation. So safe to say that USCN would certainly maintain the growth momentum that we have currently.